lot of a lot of things going on. And Suge, uh, you know, um, he took a bullet in the head. Uh, a lot of people yeah. would say, you know, because I mean, there was a theory going around that he had Tupac killed so he wouldn't leave death row. Um, but a lot of people would and say, Russell, how, how, the, how, how are you going to get that, that bullet in your head? Oh yeah, no. I, I mean, I think that that that's really preposterous. Russell's original theory was that Suge was behind this because what Russell couldn't separate in his mind was that Death Row Records and Suge Knight were separate entities. All of the evidence points towards Death Row Records. None of the evidence points towards Suge. But because Suge was the sole shareholder in Death Row, when you said Death Row, you were talking about Suge Knight. And so for that reason, Russell had thought you know, that all of this evidence pointed to an inside job with Death Row Records, and he blamed Shook for it, and he was very vocal about that. And he was going to the sheriffs to to apologize to Shug Knight and tell the investigators that they have this case against Shug that's crumbling and to abandon that case and get on board with solving the two biggest mysteries in rock and roll history or in music history. So Russell Poole was going to apologize to Suge Knight. A hundred percent. Wow. So he he really he really felt bad about originally accusing uh, Suge. Then he felt very bad. As we, as he and I were working on Chaos Merchants, you know, we we handed a copy of Tupac One Eighty Seven to the DA's office and they just weren't feeling it. Our contact at the DA's office just wasn't feeling it. He goes, you know, I mean, I get it, but you know, and so we redoubled our efforts to try and drill down deeper. And Russell insisted that every single fact be footnoted. So if you read chaos merchants, every single fact has a footnote as to where it comes from. And so you can see everything lines up perfect with this. And it's not just conjecture. It is actually supported by documents. It's supported by witness testimony. It's supported by, you know, interviews that people have done since then to give us little clues. And when, when Russell saw all of this laid out, he felt horrible about things he'd said about Shug. And he realized that Shug was a victim that night. Shug was not uh, the perpetrator of the crime. 